It's right over there, punch out boxing. Johnny, as promised, I got here straight from a holiday and yeah. It was. I can't remember where from, but this time it was Morocco. Bought my tan, as you Essex boys fully appreciate. But yeah, what what a show. Um, start with the ladies. Um, I, I spoke to both Harley and Louise. Are they on a collision course? Everyone's trying to push them that way. And to be fair, there's not many females out there, so it's inevitable. <laughs> but whether they do or not, I'm not going to shit stir and put it to them. But if they want it, then what better place to have it? Yes, indeed. Uh, a couple of other novices. Brad Axe had a very unusual um, debut. Uh, Jordan returned nine years in the making. Um, yeah, happy with both of them? Yeah, very happy. Jordan um, come back and done a lot of tickets as well. Um, and he's been ringing me nearly every day, you guys. You know that. Jordan, this, this, and this. Like, overthinking maybe and uh, very excited and then him and my wife have become friends you know like accidentally she brought some herbal life of her. <laughs> like it's crazy how small boxing is and then uh yeah i've, I've really hit it off with him to be fair and i like him and i like how he looks out there i thought he looked solid spiteful um yeah, and i can't wait to see him back in june yeah indeed uh co-headliner stelios and um ben what a fight it looked like it was going to be an early win for ben yeah, yeah, and stelios uh Rally. Yeah, to be fair, I was sitting on the fence and I did score a draw. I did 5 3 Stelios, but then the knockdowns made it 4 4. But you can't argue if anyone won, it was great performance from both of them. The start, I thought uh, Crocker's jab was electric, sharp, to the point, and he started wobbling him. And then whatever Stelios has been eating and training, it just showed because he come back. And that's when you're a professional and you live the life, that's what can happen. Yes, indeed. And as for the headliner, I mean, Constantine Ursu, bad man. Uh, he, he needs fighters above this level. Bassi gave it a go, but he weren't, he weren't up to it. He weren't good enough for Ursu. But he was the only person who wanted to fight Ursu. All the rest said no. Um, or asked for 25 grand. And this is small hall, mate. I don't know what, what, where people think that money's going to come from. Um, but credit to him for turning up and giving it a go. There's just a level, and that level is Ursu. It's a big level. <laughs> what can you do with him? Because obviously he's from Moldova, so he isn't going to have a massive fan base here. But he's that good that no one's going to want to fight him. For he's mandatory now for the Commonwealth. So good that makes that clear. He's a uh, mandatory for the Commonwealth. So that's with a let's go fight at the moment. Um, he's got an IVF uh, final eliminate that no. World title final living there. I'm not sure what ranking it is. Um, if they let that go, they can fight them. Use the belt on my show, maybe get someone in. It's sensible offers, you know, because sometimes it's more about the uh, opportunity than the money. I mean, you get the belt and you can crack on and go wherever you want, you know, but have that fight on my show would be a privilege. But if not, by all means, come and take us to make him rich and put him where he should be. Yes, indeed. Just uh, on the uh... One of your alumni, Jack Martin, gave it a great go up in Liverpool, but heard you, Boston might be a special kid. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, I thought he'd get out, man. I was wrong. Well done, Boston. <laughs> but, um, yeah, fair play, Jack. You give it a go. And I'm pretty sure he made a good uh, impression of himself on the show. And I'm pretty sure they'll probably get him back. Because uh, he gives it your, you know, if you book Jack for a fight, one, he's going to definitely be there. And two, he's going to give it 100%. And that's all you can ask for. Absolutely. And uh, just quickly, the next one, June the 29th, I believe. What what can we expect? Right. It's, it's June the 29th, 1050 is already booked and one debut. So all good to go. It's called Mentality. It's got Kevin Ravel. Half the reason behind the name being Mentality is Kevin come on my first show. He lost a three round tournament. Second show, he knocked someone out in 19 seconds. Third show, injured. Fourth show, he got outboxed. But he done well and probably nicked a draw. I say I draw a lot, I'm biased, but against Gideon Jonas and then in the last show he had the best performance of his career and he beat Finley Judd. So now he's actually got himself a title shot for a Southern area against P. A. Gordon. Yeah, so fair play to him. It just shows if you give it your all and do what you're meant to do, you can have your little story to tell your kids. You can have your belt, you know. Even if it's just the Southern area, it's the only belt you win, you've done something worth doing in boxing. 
Absolutely. It's going to be a great summer of boxing to look forward to. Can't wait, man. Can't wait. I hope to see you here too. Absolutely. Johnny, always a pleasure. Uh, we'll see you soon.